So this is Basilica of St. Paul, San Paolo. Can't see the top right now because we're too close to it. But after lunch, we are going to visit it. So of all the churches that we've been to, this is of course the seventh basilica. Probably the grandest of all of them. Uh, this is probably my favorite one, other than St. Peter's, of course. There's St. Paul in the front there. St. Paul Outside the Walls was founded by Emperor Constantine in the 4th century. The altar is built over top of St. Paul's burial site. The emperors from then on continued to expand and ornate the basilica over the centuries. So at the top, like any state building, it has all of the portraits of all the popes, uh, over 200 of them, with that lineage all the way down to St. Francis, which is the lit one right behind me there. Pretty incredible, they have pictures of all these popes, actually. So there's the popes in my lifetime. We got uh, John Paul II, uh, we got Pope Benedict Emeritus, uh, and then of course Pope Francis, and this follows that whole creed where we say, I believe in one apostolic church, because it is a lineage, a whole line of apostles coming down to today. The basilica did have its share of threats. Early Muslims damaged the building in the 9th century, followed by an earthquake in the mid-1300s. A fire in 1823 nearly ruined the building, and a nearby gunpowder explosion destroyed the stained glass windows. The holy door, this triumphal arch, and apse are the only remaining parts of the ancient basilica. So right there is St. Paul's sarcophagus, as you can see there. Right up here is St. Paul's chain. Um, and uh, made up of nine rings. Down below, you can see it, that is the Constantinian uh, Basilica. So there's another church down there. And that was the original church from the fourth century um, that was built. So it's one of the oldest church buildings in the world right here. And then of course, another Pope built over top of it. Other Popes down the line decorated more of this church, including, of course, all the portraits that you see at the top there. This is the Chapel of St. Lawrence. Confessional here. This is the Chapel of St. Benedict. This is the sacristy. This is uh, the Chapel of St. Stephen. And then here is the Chapel of the Blessed Sacrament. So this was the original Byzantine door, which uh, of course survived a fire in 1823. The old door is actually inside the new door, and the new door was completed in 1931 using the same materials as the one from 1070. On the way out, there is a fair-sized gallery about the history of the building. But I wanted to show you this right here. So these columns, uh, because of the heat of the fire, uh, also cracked and collapsed. So here are some of those columns from that church, but again, most of it has been restored, obviously, uh, in this papal basilica, and some of it does remain like that uh, door from the Byzantine that I showed you earlier. Here's an archaeological site right beside the church. And there was a settlement here right beside the church, of course. It wasn't just churches that existed here. There were actually people that lived beside these churches and markets and squares and things like that. Uh, but the things that remain are the churches. Okay, so this is uh, lunch. Apricot dessert, salami, chicken, paninis, that is prosciutto one. There's uh, cappuccino, beer, sparkling water, and Fanta.